I grew up in a physician's household. My father is an obstetrician, so I would say my entire life I knew I was going to become a physician. I attended the University of Vermont at medical school. After that, I came to Las Vegas in 1994 to do my general surgery residency, and I started my practice in 2001 here in Las Vegas and have not left since then. I went into medical school knowing I was going to be a surgeon, day one. My mentor in medical school was a physician named Dr. Stephen Shackford, who was a vascular surgeon. Following him around, seeing the complexity of the surgeries that he did, drew me to the field of vascular surgery that only grew when I did residency at UNLV. And after that, given the opportunity to train with a legend such as Dr. DeBakey in Houston, there was no doubt that this was the field that I wanted to do and I wanted to make sure that it was something that I really enjoyed. I have a very tremendous great family, a loving wife who I would not be able to be where I am without her support. And I have twin boy and girl who are now in the second grade and to me they're the three most important things in my life. And the fourth would of course be our dog. If my schedule permits, I enjoy driving my kids to school and depending on what it is, either I'm seeing patients all day long or else I'm doing surgeries all day long, it's very rare to get me to go out because for me, family is first and foremost the, my priority. I am so proud that my husband is being recognized for the hard work and commitment that he has put into his work. Uh, the level of commitment that he has for his family is the same and that's what makes him an amazing husband and dad. We, we love, love you, you daddy. daddy. When I found out I was being honored for this award, of course I was shocked, um, I was humbled, and I had a huge smile come across my face. And I think the organization does wonderful things for the community and to be recognized for what I've done through the years is a very gratifying and experience that is, I'm really at a loss of words for them. I've been working with Dr. Lou since 2013, and um, it's been, been very nice working here, and the employees, all of them, and the patients as well. My favorite thing about Dr. Lou is probably his professionalism with all his patients. He's a great teacher, and he's a really, truly uh, superb, incredible physician and, and surgeon, uh, both technically uh, as well as ability to uh, make the right decisions for the patients. Having operated together now for the past period of perhaps more than 20 years, I can certainly attest to your outstanding surgical skills and to your cool and calm demeanor. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Liu. You absolutely deserve this honor. Congratulations, Dr. Liu. My greatest accomplishment is when I'm done with the surgery, the last suture has been placed, they rolled out of the operating room, and they've done fine. Why it is so important to be involved in teaching? As surgeons, we learn from our mentors. There's just so much you can learn in the books. I was fortunate to have a terrific set of mentors at every level of my education, and everyone taught me something different. My father did that with us. These mentors did it with me, and I feel it is my responsibility to pass what I've learned and knowledge I've learned on to the next generation of physicians. Of course, the two people I look up to the most are the way that my parents raised me. We moved to the United States when I was four years old. They kept a loving family. They made sure we were provided for, and they, they just showed that no matter what you do, if family comes first, everything else will fall into place. What the future holds is what every parent wants. He just wants his children to be proud of him. I hope to be a terrific role model for them. I will say that vascular surgery is a very niche field in medicine. There's less than 3,000 board certified vascular surgeons in the country. Here in Clark County we have less than six of us. So that said, I hope that as the years go, I can continue to expand and broaden the understanding of the importance of vascular surgeons in any community, but especially in Las Vegas. We are dedicated to what we do, but I hope to really bring it to the forefront over this, this next 10, 15 years to showing that it is a need that is being fulfilled appropriately here in our community.